At Wallingford, in the shadow of the castle, Matilda's faction, commanded by her son Henry, proved it was still willing to fight King Stephen for the crown. But after 15 years of conflict, both sides had had enough. So, they made a deal. Matilda would surrender her claim to the throne on condition that when Stephen died, her eldest living son Henry would succeed him. A year later, he was crowned King Henry II and proceeded to grow the kingdom into the mighty Angevin Empire. But, once again, what the king had spent his life building, his own children were destined to destroy. King Henry II had four surviving legitimate sons, and he planned to divide up his kingdom between them. But they fought bitterly for dominance. Against the odds, Henry's youngest son, John, became king. But King John was deeply unpopular. He lost huge swathes of the Angevin Empire gained by his father, then failed to reclaim them in expensive battles. Paid for by taxing his subjects. Eventually, England's barons could take it no more. They forced John to agree to a charter that restricted his power. The Magna Carta. But he went against his word. Furious, they rebelled, inviting Prince Louis of France to invade England. In 1216, Louis sailed to Dover and set his sights on taking this. Dover Castle. Held by forces loyal to King John, it was commanded by Hubert de Burr. He described the castle as the key to England. He was right. If it fell to the French, so would the kingdom. Asked to invade by the rebel barons, Prince Louis's French army launched an assault on the castle at Dover. Opening a crack in the outer defences, the invading forces charged the castle walls. The garrison at Dover would meet the French with clenched fists and an iron will. Dover could not fall. Commander Hubert de Burr rallied his men to hold back the French and defend the castle.
Castle's garrison thwarted the first French attack and prepared for a second. A new resistance force was building in the English countryside. A skilled bowman and fierce patriot, known as Willikin of the Weald, began to muster a resistance to the French invasion. Determined to keep the crown in King John's hands, Willikin would rally every available archer to the cause. See they to worker. Building done. Building day that free. What day this be on done? It kill build. Yare to don some worker. It kill build a see they to worker on my way. Frank is Harkin, New Hestus, and Sweetha, yes. I do to win under. What shall each do? Dress it can do. What needeth be on Berende Sue ahead? Wooda is noteful, Matera. Yare to don some work on Minway. As attend day, Shafar way. Who stay to do that? Come up away. Seven's bay off market. With his bowmen assembled, Willikin planned to ambush the French siege engines on their way to the enemy camp. Hestus. 
Rifling on the stairs. See they to one min way. Build then they that Rita noon. A Rita, what need it work? It kill go and block the wood up. See they to work. I think they listen. Estes come Estes as Estes and it can't do At the end of Estes do Yes, it will have a song Spareme, spareme Save the Estes Save the Estes Spareme, yeah What name? Estes Yeah, yeah, so it's the Estes Willikin spotted a group of English fighters engaged in battle with the enemy and rushed to their aid. Willikin's band of archers made short work of the French reinforcements. But if they hoped to ease the burden on Dover's garrison, Willikin's ambush force could not relent. Intended 
Let's be on dodge. See they can work then. Over there. Oh. Two folk already ready. Yeah, ready to dodge some work then. Fully end the Hestas. Fully end the Hestas. Tint with left. There is. Do that. Come upon. We are strong! Beth, not slow. God! Which point is in this? The French launched a renewed attack on the castle, but thanks to Willikin's ambush force, the enemy had been greatly weakened. With Willikin's archers weakening the siege from outside the castle, the garrison at Dover repelled the French attack. Willikin ordered his archers to resume their strikes on the French reinforcement. What needeth be undone? On my way. If you'll hang in on the reefer railings, no. See, see to work. Where's our Rita? What get a herende, Thien Hester? We are fair and ooter, tomb folk. Our Rita. What needeth be undone? It killed Yare to don some worker. It killed Bill that for they. And see Lee. This is man! Hold the arm with sword! Hey, listener! Yeah, yeah, see what they had to. Spare him, spare him, spare him, yeah. Oh. 
Pest is an odd boy. Fuse told us. Pest is. What shall each do? Sí, 
See they to Baron Uten every chance. See where have instead as bayonets. What needeth ye? Tid to end it. Build end day that sweet a new. Willikin's archers had decimated the French reinforcements. But undeterred, the French mustered what troops they could and launched another attack on the castle. The hardy English garrison held fast, refusing to let the castle fall to the French invaders. Willikin rallied his archers to continue strikes on the weakening French. Be ready for Hestes. Understood. 
Moving the SES engine. Be ready for Hestes. Engine on the way. Intended, Freckers. It is Seether for Fourth War New, Tulkis. Set it down. Marcus Yara, my friend. Thy will be Idun. Spare man? Leave the foot there, Freckers. Fustlidande ne'er hurt as no one never it down. Onti fota spera. Willikin's resistance force continued to grow, adding more skilled men to its ranks. Look at your at Mino Hester's for this reader. What need is they all do? See they to work. Freck is Harkin, New Hester's, Tint Win Left, Bereth. Fuste Tulkas, Hestes. And sweet, sir. Yes. Nuthan, come upon. Onti Fortas, Bere.
dressed yow hard way, man. Has this come at you sleepily on the stairs? Me heart has that man. Freck is harken. New has at stand. Let it be that yow are freck is man. Spare me to do thin Hester. Intended, Frank. The combined grit of the English garrison and Willikin's surprise attacks ensured that Dover hadn't fallen yet. Now the English prepared to repel the final French assault. The tenacity of Hubert de Burr's loyal soldiers forced Prince Louis and the rebel barons to abandon their siege at Dover. And thanks to the efforts of Willikens' fearless archers, England remained in King John's hands.